By the way, my grandfather, William Hammond, was an inventor from the time he was a teenager because he lives next door to a German-American who was a famous uh, holder of patents on refrigeration and air conditioning. So that's how he got the uh, bug to, uh, to, to build. And he had a lot of inventions that were semi-successful, but they would always get bought by the government and then mothballed. He could never get private industry to buy them. And it was, a, I mean, he was concerned about the 60s and the burning city. So he built with some other guys a, um, a taser robot, basically, that had extent, was remote control and had extending arms out that would go to the ends of the street that you could remote control. And I mean, and it had serious voltage going through it, enough to really knock people out. And then you would roll that down the street at people. That was in 19, late 1960s, and, the, and, and, and they bought the robot. They bought the robot from my grandfather's. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm explaining it to you folks, that's what's been going on. Can you imagine that was in the late 1960s? And my grandfather, uh, you know, would talk about this kind of stuff in the future and what was going to happen, and he wouldn't really get into it. He was so freaked out. And I realize that now, that the stuff he got into, you know, then he just basically went in his house and closed the door and became a recluse. All the stuff he saw, and I never learned most of it before he died because he wouldn't talk about it. And who knows what it was? It's just, you know, he, he just, you know, it's, it's incredible. I, and, and, you know, I'm just watching humanity be aborted right now. And it, it really hurts me. And I just wish humanity would stand up and wake up and realize what's going on and uplift ourselves and realize that we could shrug this off anytime we wanted to. If we realize what evil predators we've got in charge. And I apologize. I haven't gone to your calls. I'm going to go to them right now. I really apologize. Uh, let's, let's, let's go to one right now before we go to break. Uh, John in Arizona on the subject of abortion. Uh, go ahead. You're on the air. Hi, Alex. Good afternoon. Um, first of all, I'm not for abortion at all. Um, but it seems like here in Arizona, we have more uh, Planned Parenthoods and clinics that will offer up abortion ideas, um, than there are childhood candy stores. Uh, it's quite sad. Um, and the other thing is, is that, um, all right, appreciate your call. Uh, let's go ahead and talk to Dale in Texas. Dale, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, now, brother. What's going on, Alex? Hey, Worldwide Tristan, broadcast. Uh, go ahead. Hey, brother. Hey, to, to your worldwide audience, hey, listen, this is the new center of the media universe. I don't know if you caught a little conversation on the Stern Show today earlier about GMOs, but listen, you're dead on with abortion. It's a direct attack against humanity. Everything, like, even these kind of things are kind of common sense and, and, and the gun controls and and the scannings and, and all these kind of things. Now, of course, if you're uh, kind of uh, not awake yet and kind of one of these programmed, indoctrinated kind of zombies kind of sheep out there, then then that's fine. Um, so we're, we're getting a little distracted here on, well, of course, you're your callers, your supporters even, and people who get it, then, yeah, they're against it, you know, and they get it. And whether or not what we do with it, if, if you want a gun, you got one. If you don't, you don't. Well, it's an artificial system being deployed against us where humanity is disempowered and then the technocracy and government and the robots are empowered. This is, in their own words, a military takeover of eugenics against us, period. And, and speaking of Howard Stern, you know, I, I've been on a lot of shows and I've never had the response I've had on the Howard Stern show culturally. I mean, that is really a giant show. And uh, I'm on... Uh, Lieberman's show tomorrow because, you know, they have that whole ch Lieberman live uh, tomorrow, I think at like 1030 Central or 1015 Central for 30 minutes. And then and I think they are going to start having me on occasionally on the Howard Stern show. People can say, oh, I don't like Howard Stern. He says this or that. Whatever. The point is, you know, I like the fact that they have a lot of open ideas on there. So I want to get to that audience and talk about what's happening in the world. And as you said, I didn't hear it today. They were talking about GMOs. So I'm going to come back so you can tell me what they were discussing because that's how we're going to win. And the fact that a show like the Howard Stern Show is intrigued with what I do, they've told me that, and want to start including me in the show more, 
reaching out to us and that Oxford's doing it and a bunch of other groups really shows we're having an effect. That's the sound of a 44 Magnum and Trauma Max. A high-tech hybrid Kevlar bulletproof vest from InfidelBodyArmor.com will stop it and most pistol rounds. Trauma Max is a major breakthrough in pistol-rated body armor. And prices start at just $170 per insert. More protection, more stopping power, more mobility. And it weighs less than 5 pounds. Get details at InfidelBodyArmor.com. That's I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions, silverlungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs Generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs Generator and Lung Delivery System at silverlungs.com. That's silverlungs.com. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. Ladies and gentlemen, America is more dangerous than ever with 9 million property crimes last year. Crimes are happening every day. Be proactive and protect your home and family. Simply Safe Home Security System helps guard against criminals, thugs, and thieves. Listen, Simply Safe is the absolute best alarm system and company in America today. Here's why. We offer a 60-day money-back guarantee. It's affordable, no contracts to sign, and is built with the latest wireless technology. Simply Safe protects the ones you love the most, even if a criminal cuts your power and phone lines. When you order today, you'll receive a 10% discount along with a free keychain remote. Don't wait. This offer is only valid through January 31st. Take advantage of this special discount offer at GetSimplySafe.com. That's GetSimplySafe.com. Protect your home and family now at GetSimplySafe.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Again, ladies and gentlemen, I want to reach out to the world. I don't want to just stay in my own bubble and only talk to the choir. And that's why, well, number one, I'm not bragging because I want to hurry up and get to your calls. People have been holding like Anthony and Julie and Scott and Ken, and I will get to all of you. But, th but these callers bring up important points that need to be covered. <clears throat> this broadcast, because the globalists have all their data mining and you know they they know how big this broadcast is i don't know how big it is i don't have access to all that i just know it's huge i just know we send reporters anywhere in the world now and if 10 people walk by two or three of them are listeners 
I mean, they're not even going out to where we're at in most cases. They're, we're on the deserted beaches, you know, that five people walk by and one of them's a listener wearing an InfoWars shirt. So we've hit the zeitgeist. I mean, they, I'm doing the, I'm not bragging, by the way. This freaks me out. The keynote, which is a big deal for the end of the, the uh, you know, winter um, quarter, I guess they call it. Uh, in March in England, and I'm going to go do that, and that's presidents have spoke there, you know, Mahatma Gandhi, uh, Malcolm X, the whole, I mean, that's, it's a big deal to be the keynote speaker. It's a big deal to be at Oxford. And I've had other people reach out to me across the board just lately at the highest levels of government, former and current. And I mean, it's just... Because they know, for whatever reason, they can tell the future to a certain extent. The trajectory we're on, if I can't be co-opted, is going to really, it's like a black arrow to smog. We've got a black arrow in this broadcast. I don't know if the black arrow that I'm going to fire and we're going to fire is going to take out smog, okay? That's up to God to guide our hands. The point is, they don't want us to be there, because it's not Alex Jones, it's all of us together, to fire that black arrow. And there's a lot of other black arrows out there. But they can see, for whatever reason, that what we're doing is going into the zeitgeist and, and helping turn the zeitgeist. And, and the issue is they could just kill me, but that would make me bigger. Or they could try to co-op me, but, but it's beyond that. A lot of these people that I've talked to beyond Hollywood really get now that, wow, this new world order isn't going to be the empowerment of man and all this great stuff, and it is going to be dystopic, and they don't like it. So I want to be clear, folks, there's a real struggle now. Humanity's going, whoa, we're in danger. We're going to, this is bad. You're feeling it beyond your own body and your children. You're feeling it as a cultural death of the species. The species is really being hurt right now because they're putting stuff in the vaccines and the food and things that are beyond anything we've seen. Free will is being destroyed in a lot of people right now. People are being biologically, chemically lobotomized and basically murdered for their non-persons. And, 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 and everyone subconsciously, spiritually, is picking up that we're under attack. That's why people are listening right now. And I've been chastened, and you notice a little bit more focus lately, because the evil is entering a major expansion phase right now. And at a very primitive gut level, at the seat of my soul, I am beyond freaked out now. And I know you are as well. But this is it. And I don't know what it is going to be exactly. I got a good idea. And uh, things may start happening a lot quicker than even I thought. But you better get yourself right with God. That's all I can tell anybody. You better get right with God right now. Right now. Today, now. And that includes me. And the problem is you have this at a spiritual level, but biologically when things get bad, you want to fight, you want to have sex, you want to get drunk, you want to, but believe me, I'm a human too. So you're seeing the best of people and the worst of people all at the same time, ladies and gentlemen. This is a war. No wonder people are acting crazy when they're on R&R. No wonder there's shootings happening and people freaking out and divorces at record levels and all these bad things happening. Because, folks, people know, despite all the propaganda and the bull they've tried to paper over with, we're in a depression. But more importantly than an economic depression, we're in a spiritual depression. I'll finish up your point in one minute because this is a long segment coming up, and I promise I'll get to all the callers after that. Dale in Texas, make your point about uh, Howard Stern talking about GMOs. Hey, uh... Yeah, well, earlier this morning, you got a, on the conversation, Howard was talking about Fruit Loops, the, the different colors, they all taste the same. And so Gary comes running in, hey, boss, hey, boss, you know, they're, you do hear that they're, they're, they're changing my Cheerios that I've been eating for 40 years. They're taking out the GMs, and I'm worried it's going to taste bad. And, and, uh, and so Robin kind of chimes in. She says, well, you know, Gary, they didn't always have them, so they'd probably be all right. It'd probably be the same. And so, oh, well, they're changing, you know, they're taking out, and so Howard chimes in. He says, well, you know, Gary, 40 years ago, they probably didn't, you know, they have these GMOs. And so it's just, an, it's just an idiotic conversation that's going on on huge levels within the media, you know. Sure, but, but see, at least it's being discussed. Okay? At least it's being discussed. And, and that's what matters. We'll be back. We're on the march.
The Empire. Stay there, callers. Run. Julie, you're up next. Alex Jones. Coming to you, hon. Thank you for holding. Network. Ken, Scott, Anthony.